My last video was pretty heavy, so today I'm going to try and go as far away from that as I can think and take a look at the myriad Easter eggs, hidden spots and other miscellaneous items of debatable intrigue in Assetto Corsa Competizione. Let's kick off today's voyage of discovery at the Nürburgring. While the Grand Prix circuit is, uh, well, it's there, its next door neighbour is still the star of the show. In fact, the question, when is the Nordschleifer coming to ACC, has taken on sort of meme status. And the fact of the matter is, well, it's already there, or at least some of it is. There are a couple of kilometres of the green hell just sitting there with curbs, fencing, and even the world-famous graffiti. What more could you want? Well, for one, an airport might be nice. Paul Ricard has this one, which is right next to the circuit, so you can sort of understand why Kunos felt the need to include it. Less clear, though, is why they included East Midlands Airport at Donington, which I'm fairly sure I've never seen from any of the normal replay cameras, but it's there. And more to the point, they actually went to the trouble of making the plane that flies around come in and land. That is a nice piece of detail, though you'd be forgiven for never actually noticing it. Speaking of which, there are quite a few hidden messages within the cars in the game, which, when viewed as a collection, take on a sort of profound philosophical take on what it must be like to work in the world of racing sim development. Thanks to Wheaty and Geordi for the heads up on a couple of those in-car bits, and there are more to find if you go looking. Easier to spot are the impressively detailed helicopters placed at each of the circuits, like this example at Brands Hatch. Sadly, with all of those polygons spent on the chopper, there clearly weren't many left over for this sort of impressionist pizza bus up at Paddock Hill Bend. It's... it, it looks like it's in pain. Though to be fair to Kunos, I'm glad they're using my computer's precious resources wisely. Which brings us neatly to the northwest of Belgium and Circuit Zolder. There is quite a lot going on here, but I'd like to draw your attention to the starters post and this suspicious looking chap. No, not him, I'm, I'm talking about this impressively high resolution image of Kunos co-founder Marco Masaruto on the starters post mirror. He's just sort of hanging out there, quietly judging your lap times. Also at Zolder is a BMX track and this chapel, which actually predates the circuit by a good 50 years, it's located near the Villeneuve chicane. Now that name and this place are sadly forever linked. And in the paddock is this memorial to the great man. Now this is something that would never actually be seen by anyone using the racing sim as intended. So it is touching to see this included here. And the same goes for Emela, where another well-known memorial to Gilles is replicated in ACC. Continuing on that same sombre note, a few hundred yards away down at Tamburello is this very well-known memorial to one of the greats, no, one of the greatest. Spa next, and let's take a look at the famous Eau Rouge, named for the red water, which, well, it's been brown every time I've ever visited, which, well, it's actually a bit disappointing, really. What's not disappointing is this view from the bottom of Eau Rouge Corner, looking up the hill through Radion. This is easily the best place I've ever stood to watch racing cars, and if you make sure you've got a good zoom lens on your camera, you should probably be able to make out Guido van der Gaard's shrimp balls. I... I really don't know what he was hoping to achieve there. Anyway, moving on from that somewhat unsubtle attempt to crowbar in a joke about Guido shrimp, and we're moving on to Misano, which has a sports stadium, albeit a small one. And on that note, so does Imola, but it didn't really feel right to mention it during that focus on the memorials. Another aspect of the Imola circuit in Assetto Corsa Competizione is that the crowd are decked out in face masks. As the circuit joined the calendar in 2020, where I'm reliably informed things were a bit off, globally speaking. Oh, and then there's this sculpture of a flock of Ferrari F40s in tribute to Enzo and Dino, for which the circuit was named. Again, this is something well out of the field of view of normal sim racing activities, but Come on, Kinos are Italian. What were they going to do? Not include it? Please. 